Hi guys, Lewis here and in this video I'm going to show you how to find informational keywords with SEMrush. And informational keywords are just words and phrases that people use to find information. The type of content that you would create around these keywords are not necessarily meant to sell or at least not directly. So you can make money with them but they have no commercial intent. Now I'm going to show you how to find these types of keywords in SEMrush and the first thing you want to do is click organic research in the sidebar over here. And this will take you to the positions analysis. Now I'm using Quicksprout again and you can plug in any of your competitors. I'll also show you how to find competitors with SEMrush as well. But for now we're just going to go with this and I'll scroll down and as you can see I've got a bunch of keywords here, more than 117,000, which is just a huge amount. Now, there's no way I could manually go through these, and fortunately, SEMrush sorts these by how much organic traffic they account for. So the keywords at the top bring in the most traffic, and the top one here is internet marketing. But it wouldn't be wise for me to just go for this because it works best for Quicksprout. There's most likely other off-page factors at play, and the only indication we get with SEMrush is the keyword difficulty metric, which we know is very unreliable. And since this tool doesn't have built-in SERP analysis, you'd have to manually evaluate keyword difficulty by entering keywords into Google, running the free Mozbar extension and checking the authority and link metrics for each. And obviously that's not efficient. So with that in mind, you want to drill down this list as much as possible to make that process easier. And the way you do that is using modifiers. Now modifiers are like small footprints people add to their search query and we can use them to find informational keywords. So that would be things like how, what, when, where etc etc so I'll go up here and in this field I'll type how and click search and it will take a few seconds to reload the page but what I'll get back here is only the keywords containing the word how if I scroll down you can see there are all informational type keywords I've got things like how to write a headline how to get more Pinterest followers and these are all bringing the site a decent amount of traffic and even though SEMrush has a pretty bad KD metric, it's still a rough indication of difficulty and we can use it to find keywords that are more likely to have low competition. So if I filter this list for KD with the lowest at the top, let it load for a second. Now these are the lowest difficulty keywords that Quicksprout ranks for in the top 100 according to SEMrush. Scrolling down, I can see a keyword here with 590 monthly searches. This could be a good target and I definitely check it either manually with Mozbar as I said before or use a premium tool like Keyword Finder. Now I have Keyword Finder so I'm going to switch to that and I'll run this keyword. So I can see already from the difficulty score that it's super easy to rank for. There's a DA15 ranking in position 5 with no links and even though Keyword Finder reports less traffic I think this is still a good keyword to target. Now I head back over to SEMrush because I want to show you another way to drill this down even more. Let's go back to the filters and add one more and we'll say include keyword difficulty less than 60 and one more to include volume greater than 100. Now click apply and this is essentially saying show me all keywords that contain the word how but only the ones that have really low competition and reasonable monthly search volume and you can of course be a lot more lenient or demanding with these filters if you choose so if I scroll down and you can see I now have only 12 results but these are going to be a lot more targeted to what we're looking for and I can export those or review each one manually but the point is you can repeat this process not only for each modifier but also for dozens of competitors and if you click on the competitor analysis tab over here and wait for it to load it only takes a few seconds SEMrush does the hard work and finds thousands of competitors all sorted by relevance and that's really all there is to it I hope this was helpful and I'll see you in the next video